Hey guys, so um, I just want to film a quick little haul tonight. Um, it's getting kind of late. Well, uh, late for me. It's eight o'clock. Um, but I'm pretty tired. Um, I just got the baby down, and um, yeah, I just want to do this quick little haul of some stuff I got today at Ulta. Um, just so that I can start playing with it. Um, so yeah, I went in there looking for one thing and one thing only, and it's the one thing that they never have in stock, um, and so I just ended up getting some other stuff. Um, in my BeautyCon summer box unboxing video, which probably will go up after this to be honest because I filmed it the other day. Um, I have to edit it a little bit so you're going to see this first. But one of these NYX Ombre Lip Duos was in that box and I fell in love with it. So I wanted to get another one. So I got the NYX Ombre Lip Duo. This one's in rags and riches. Now, I swatched it at the store, so I still like the color, but on the box, you can clearly see, like, it looks really, like, lavendery in the middle, and then a deep purple on the outside. So, I was expecting more purpley and lavendery shades. Um, like I said, I did swatch this in the store, because they had a tester out, um, I still liked it, just not what, you know, the picture makes you expect. Um, so it's got the dark lip liner on this side, which honestly doesn't look like a dark purple at all to me. No. And then it's got the light like lipstick on this side like honestly these look more mauve toned than purple toned um so yeah that's pretty true to color um on my screen there so it definitely doesn't quite look as purpley as it does in the picture kind of a disappointment but like i said I still really liked it, so I got it anyway. And then I got a NYX um, Jumbo Eye Pencil. Um, there was one of these in the BeautyCon box as well. Um, it was in a different shade. But it reminded me how much I used to love these things, and I haven't used one in years. And my favorite go-to one was in Milk, so I picked that up. Um, I remember, like, Years and years ago, when I first started on YouTube, these were like all the rage. The NYX Milk Pencil. And I used to love using this as my eyeshadow base. It's just a white, creamy um, eyeshadow crayon. But it blends out really nicely. And it just really makes anything you put over it just pop even more. So I used to love it, used to use it all the time, so I bought it again. Um, and then I got one of these Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighters. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about these, um, and I really wanted to give one a try. They only had one color in stock, which is probably a good thing, because had they had all three, um, I probably would have bought all three. But they only had one, so I got one. Um, and this one is in Peach Lights. Get it open. So that is what it looks like. It's really pretty. Um, in the pan, looks pinky, iridescent, maybe almost a little bit of like a purpley shimmer in there. It's really, really gorgeous. Um, 
I mean, it's not like the um, like creamiest powder, but it's really pigmented. And this highlighter is like for real, like one of the most gorgeous highlighters I've ever used. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see. You can see like the sheen from it as I move around in the light. Um, but you guys can't, you're not really going to be able to see, like, the, uh, effect it has. You can definitely see a little pinky, almost purpley, kind of frosty action going on. But, I mean, you can definitely see the sheen as I turn through the light. Really pretty. Cannot wait to use that. And then, the most exciting thing I got today that I've been wanting since it came out, and, uh, when I saw it in Ulta, I just, I just got it. I got the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette from Tarte. Um, absolutely, like, oh, just, I've been wanting it, and I'm just, I'm really glad I got it, because I already, like, love it. So, it comes with just a little insert here, you know, with a couple, like, day and night looks and stuff like that. So, there's the palette. It has, like, um, like a faux wood texture going on. Like, it's actually textured like that. And I think that's really cool. And it's so pretty. I love the gator on it. Super pretty packaging. And then the inside is even more gorgeous. Try not to blind you guys with the mirror, but it's gonna happen. You're gonna see me on my webcam. Hi. Um, but yeah, it's got a really big mirror. That says, believe in yourself, love yourself, embrace your individuality up at the top, which I love. Okay. And then there's the palette. It has an eyeshadow brush down in here, which I'll use, I'm sure. And then it's got the eyeshadows over here. And then bronzer, blush, highlighter here. I'm going to do a whole separate video talking about this. Um... I'll do swatches and stuff and a uh, more in-depth review as I use it some more, but like legit, let me just show you guys like how pigmented like I barely touched dog man and that's what I got like that's insane I've never used any Tarte eyeshadows and I'm thoroughly impressed um what was the, oh, Sassy Bun, like, fantastic gold, just, like, I mean, just gorgeous, gorgeous, I mean, just, that was the worst place for me to put that swatch, but whatever, just gorgeous, I mean, the sheen coming off that gold, mm. And then, um, the whole bottom row, Haunting, Uncommon, and Mancat, like, I could see myself using those three as, like, a constant, like, go-to look for myself. I will swatch, I'm just turning this whole video into swatching this, even though I said I was going to do a separate video swatching these, um, but, you know. Okay, so, and I'm limited on space with the tattoos. Here's Haunting, and Uncommon, and then Mancat. Sorry about the awkward situation for those, but I have tattoos, so it is what it is. I just love these three. They're like, they're just so gorgeous. I, but like I said, I could see those three becoming, like, a go-to look for me with this palette. 
and I've been hearing people say that these smell like hot chocolate, and they do. I mean, this whole palette just smells like, like the powdered hot chocolate mix. It smells so good. I absolutely love the bronzer. Um, it is it does have a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's not too bad. Um, I really like the color of the blush. Uh, it has a little too much glitter. It's not even shimmer. It's like glitter. Um, so, I don't know. You guys aren't going to be able to see the glitter in that. But the color is really pretty. I'm just not sure how I feel about the glitter in it. We'll see. I'm sure once I get it on my face. And then the highlighter, Gator Wings. Really, really pretty. It's a pretty gold, really shimmery highlight, which you, know, you can see the sheen from it there and the light. Really, really pretty. Really impressed with this palette already. I'm super excited to dive into it and actually use it for some looks. Um, and like I said, I'll do a whole video with thorough swatches um, and um, more in-depth review of what I think of them after I use them. Um, you know, after I've used them for a little bit. So, yeah, that is just a couple things I picked up today at Ulta. Um, I'm going to try and upload this video tonight just so it's up so that I can try and get some other stuff uploaded over the weekend um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye